given that A and B are prime numbers, if I ask all of you in this room to solve this problem in one hour, can you do it? If the answer is no, it's perfectly fine. Because even by using powerful computers that we currently have, a problem similar to this one will take hours, days, or even years to be solved. But believe it or not, a simple yet exhaustive arithmetic problem like this one is the key to most of our encryption systems. Think about it when you browse on the internet, chat on instant messenger, or do some online banking. This is what your security looks like. But since practically no computer on planet are capable of breaking or solving this problem efficiently, we are still safe and live in harmony. But everything changes when a quantum computer attacks. A quantum computer is built based on the strange and weird properties of quantum particles, such as photons and electrons. A photon can be a wave and a particle, an electron can be here or anywhere simultaneously, and also they can be used to represent zero and one at the same time. This specific property gives the quantum computer the superpower computing capability. And the result is a problem like this one. For a quantum computer, it will take only a minute or even seconds to be solved. So in other words, when finally a quantum computer is in the market, we will have a massive security breach. So is there any solution for this upcoming calamities? The answer is yes. My research is in quantum internet, the absolute secure and unbreachable quantum communication system. Instead of exchanging the information using the numbers or binary digit zero and one like we do now, we can exchange the information using quantum particles. Because turns out, the particles provide a certain level of immunity against the attacker. Any attempt to read or to measure the quantum information will be immediately noticed by the sender and the receiver. It's like when you receive an Amazon package, but the box is already open. You know that someone has tried to mess around with your package. But quantum internet requires the particles to travel across the network. So since quantum particles are very tiny and terribly fragile, like me, <laughs> it's not safe for them to travel alone. So my approach is to make them travel together, hand in hand, and tangled to each other in a special group called as quantum code. My research has shown that by making them travel together hand in hand in a quantum code, make the quantum internet tens, hundreds, or thousands more reliable. So what is your takeaway message from my presentation today? Do not travel alone. <laughs> my name is Darius Chandra, and this is my research. Thank you very much. <laughs>